Hey, what's up? I know this has been a really long time since I've made an iPod talk, and um, I'm sorry about that, but I'm starting to get back to a routine again, so I should be able to make a lot more in a short period of time. Um, also, if you're not subscribed to my other channel, Adam Tech Talk, um, you should do that. I just made a video on how to make a really cheap and effective hidden camera, so check that out as well. But in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how to um, you know, do text documents on the go, and it also could uh, like do other stuff like presentations and spreadsheets, stuff like that. So, turn on your iPod. And that is the application right there. I know it's hard to see and I apologize for using this bad camera. Uh, I don't have my good camera with me or my tripod, so short for the shakiness as well. But um, we'll just make do with it. It basically is just a silver icon with some colors swirling around it and underneath it says office squared plus so you basically want to open the app store wait a minute I just don't want anyone to see my password and you are going to search for okay you're going to search for office plus I know it's hard to see I'm sorry but it's search office plus and then that one right there, the second one that shows up, at least for me, Office Squared Plus. It is completely free, I'll tell you that right now. And it's great, like, I love this thing. It's perfect for school, too. And you just click on Free and Install. It'll install it. And um, once it's installed, just open it. Now, um... This also works great because my school it uh it basically uh ha we're like we're like a Google school I think it is what it's called so uh, a lot of our classes teachers just put a bunch of documents and stuff online so this is perfect too for like Google Docs um, it can also work with a lot of other like I'll show you edit add service so these are all the different services you can use Google Docs. Mobile Me, Dropbox, My Disk Box, you know, all stuff like that. So if you use any of those websites, you should be all set. And um, so basically, local files. And um, this is just how you make them on your iPod. If you have a service, it'd be the one underneath that you'd click on. But it's local files, add, and then see, there's all your options that you can make right off your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch. Document. Uh, workbook, presentation, you know, text file, all sorts of things. So, I'm just going to choose text file. You just name it. So, I'm just going to name it whatever. And then you just start text uh, typing. So, you type your message. And then you can hit save, all that stuff. You can access it from, you know, anywhere. Uh, like, like, if you, uh, sorry, just like say, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like, if you are online and you want to access a document, you can't do it from your local files, but in the other cloud folders, these are called, you can use it. So, uh, just keep that in mind. This is a great app. It works well, especially if you start working on something at school on Google Docs. You can also work on it at home off your iPod, which is always very helpful. So, that's basically all for this video. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, check out all my other videos from all my other channels. Thanks. Bye.